Hello and welcome. We're live in London for the very first fully interactive music show, completely controlled by you at home. So stop what you're doing, grab a cup of coffee, have Twitter at the ready, because you're watching The Q. Well, we've got a treat in store for you guys today. In honour of the Brit Awards, which was held next door just a few days ago, we've decided to start the series with a Brit special. So coming up on the show, we have the very talented singer-songwriter Danny Wright, who will be performing exclusive songs for us, as well as discussing the mayhem of the ceremony. But first, let's get back to you. We want to hear everything you have to say, so follow the links below to choose next week's topic. Here's Dan in the Hub. Thank you, Emmeline. So I'm here in the Hub, where we are getting all your tweets, Instagram photos and questions in on the Brits and also on our artist that is in the studio today, Danny Wright. And um, we do ask you on Twitter, what did you think of Tracy Emmons' creative design on this year's trophy at the Brit Awards? And it was quite an overwhelming response. I'm really excited to hear what the public had to say. But first, we've got Danny performing his original song, Tired and Lonely. Three, two, one. Hi, I'm Danny Wright and this song is called Tired and Lonely. I couldn't tear you away from my life Even if I tried The way you express affection with subtle hints Satisfies me You're not giving up I've been chasing dreams and I'm tired of feeling And I'm sorry for cheating yeah. Just give it three more months I promise you I will be yours The way you express affection with supplements satisfies me I'm not giving up I've been falling in love And I'm tired a feeling And I'm sorry For cheating On you Wake me up with a soft kiss Tell me I'm fine And I'm tired Of feeling And I'm sorry For cheating Thank you. 
What a great performance there by Danny Wright. That was really good. But back to you guys. We have Alice on Twitter who said, I adored the look of the statue. So cute. I wish I had one in my room. Also from Twitter, we have Rob who said, it was nice enough, but I personally prefer Damien Hurst's design. I think we all do here on the queue as well, Rob. But if you want to hear more on the subject of trophy designs, you can always visit our website. As much as we love the trophy here at the queue, we also did have one thing that was going crazy all over the Twitter sphere. Taylor tweeted in saying, oh my God, did you see Madonna's fall? She clearly hasn't seen hashtag Incredibles, no capes. Now, if you happen to miss the Brits last week, then you can watch this moment right here now. Poor Madge there, as you can see, falling during her Brit performance. But later that evening, she did tweet saying, Armani hooked me up. My beautiful cape was tied too tight, but nothing can stop me. And love really did lift me up. Bless her. So back to you, Emily, in the studio. Perform another song he wrote. Here's Danny Wright with I Don't Care. Such a waste of time Letting thoughts in my own mind I swear I won't tell another lie This is how I feel Wide awake and real Waiting for you to come again and talk All this waste of time My confessions Taking every word I'm saying Us. You don't care, why don't you care? Why don't you? You are miserable, discontent and ill Spending all this time trying to get through to you Ignorance is so ugly, you wear it so well I hate to be in your shoes as I Time, my confessions Taking every word I'm saying You're not listening You're the only one to trust You don't care, why don't you care? Why don't you? Waste of time, and my confessions taking every word I'm saying, and you're not listening. All this waste of time, and my confessions taking every word I'm saying, you're not listening. You're the only one to trust. You don't care why. We'll be having a chat with Danny later, but first up is our featured artist of the week.
Say again, sorry? Is there anyone in particular who inspires you? Um, I'd say it's Michael Jackson and Newton Faulkner. Um, Michael Jackson because he was the first ever like you know musician that I ever heard in my life, um, who I, who I consciously like paid attention to, um, and well, there was just something about it. He just like you know was just so lively and so exciting. And Newton Faulkner just kind of introduced a lot of kind of like new styles and ways of playing to me. Um, so yeah. Do you have any routine that you do before a show? Um, my usual routine for a show is um, I try to sit down and give myself a few hours to just kind of like play the guitar, warm up a little bit. Um, and I like to do, like recently I've tried to do quite a lot, a lot of like, breathing exercises. Um, I've got a very like poor diction and um, very poor breathing, so it's, it's just kind of me trying to just trying to get those in check before I start playing. So that's my usual routine. So. Uh, what keeps you motivated? Um, the things that keep me motivated is that, I guess, uh, it's weird because I, I don't really have a lot to keep me motivated because I'm, I'm, very, I'm a very tired person, I have a very bad immune system, so I kind of suck at doing a lot of things every day. Um, but I guess the thing that keeps me like kind of just keep going is like, yeah, like at some point it's going to pay off that I'm going to do, you know, I still like what I do, so um, there's no other thing that makes me happy than just doing this, so. Uh, what is your favourite colour? <laughs> um, my favourite colour is burgundy. Um, I have a lot of burgundy clothes and I became quite notorious for wearing burgundy quite a lot. So, yeah. Uh, what is your most memorable performance and why? Uh, um, my most memorable performance uh, would have had to have been playing at Alexandria Palace. Um, it was just. It was, it was at some kind of um, it was a YouTube convention and um, everybody involved in kind of like YouTube crowds are just so loving and so you know uh, appreciative um, and there were just so just so, so many people there like you know singing songs back to us and stuff and um, yeah so that was probably my most memorable gig um, and that was last year so yeah. Uh, what is the next step for you? Um, the next step for me is I'm trying to um, record a new um, LP. Um, I wrote. A lot of kind of like small releases before, um, and I've always tried to like a tie a theme with them um, because the way I see, you know, it could be the last thing you ever do, so make it important and make it, you know, feel like it's important. Um, so I'm trying to get this this EP done because I think it's the most um, I'm it's the thing I'm most proud of um, in terms of how how I write my songs and stuff. Um, and I want to go, I want to start touring more. Um, I want to just maybe start pushing to labels as well. You start trying to think about it properly as something that might, you know, unfold properly in the future. So, is there any advice you want to give to any like new artists starting up? Um, the advice I'd give to any new artist, no matter what the ability, is that you should just you, you should just always do it. Like a lot of people will just will tell you that you can't do things, or tell you that you're good at one thing and bad at the other, or they just tell you that you're bad. And um, I think just you should just have a bit of a develop a bit of an ego about yourself, no matter you know what, how fake it is, um, just to keep yourself from you know. Cause if, if it's something you want to do, then you shouldn't let anybody tell you that you can't do it, no matter whether you can play the guitar or sing anything or at all. So you know anyone can do it. So. Cool. That was a great performance there from Danny. I honestly think we could see him winning a Brit someday. But let's get back to all those tweets. Scott sent us in a picture actually on Instagram that was captioned, Kanye West was in my local Nando's tonight before the Brits. Crazy. Kanye is exactly a shy guy, is he? First the drama at the Grammys and now this. What will he do next? Anyway, congratulations to all of the award winners at the Brits. If you would like to hear more on all the Brits, you can visit our website and you can also go to our Twitter, Instagram and Facebook page and like that. Uh, yeah, that's all of us here from The Hub. We'll see you soon. Thanks, Dan. All week we've been asking you to send in your questions for Danny Wright using the hashtag TheQDanny. Now he's here to answer those questions. So, hi, Danny. Hi, Thanks yeah. for being on the show. It's all right. I had a couple of things to ask you. So the first okay. one is social media has been going crazy about somebody's fall. Oh, and yeah. And I heard you had a similar one on the way in. Yes, I fell down the escalators at what? Camden Station. I literally stacked it. 
oh like halfway down the escalators Anybody with my guitar. Try? With your guitar as yeah, well? Yeah, it's quite painful in front of loads of people. So and yeah. No so, one said anything or helped you out? No. I had my headphones on as well. I just like Gosh. got up and kind of brushed just off. Just got on with it. Yeah. I suppose it was your just grand like, entrance, right? Exactly. Just like Madonna. I called it a Madonna. I did a Madonna. You did a Madonna. <laughs> I, think, I think that's going to catch on, like yeah. I did a Madonna. So if you were lucky to win um, a category, which would it be and why? Um, probably Album of the Year, mm -hmm. because um, I would definitely want to be recognised for my songwriting, because I'm very passionate about that, so yeah. Okay, and if you could collaborate with anybody from the Brits, who would it be? He performed last week. Mm -hmm. um, probably Kanye West, because okay. he just put on a mad show, so yeah, that would be that would. different. That would be cool. I'm sure it would be amazing. Yeah. I can imagine you too. So I have a question from Amber on Twitter and she mm -hmm. says, Danny, I think you have a great voice. How would you personally describe your style? Oh, thank you. Great voice. Cool. Yeah. Um, my style was very uh, influenced by pop punk. I'm from a very like pop punk background. I was like very much into Blink-182. So mm. kind of, I'd say my solo stuff is very um, stripped down rock, pop, punk, but on acoustic guitar, okay. that makes sense. Yeah. As I said, it's really cool you said about solo, because I did actually have a question from Lily on Instagram, who said, I, Danny, I, I, I heard you used to play in a band. Yes. What's the difference between performing in a band and solo, and which do you prefer? Um, I love performing anyway, like mm -hmm. in both senses, like solo and in a band. Uh, the difference is you're on your own on stage. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a bit more, I don't want to say, yeah, you're a bit more vulnerable because you you have like the safety in numbers. Yeah. But, um, yeah, the difference is because I'm acoustic as well, it's, it's a lot more chilled. And when I was in a band, I was like, it's going mental on stage and with everyone. Would you, Callum asked, do you go through writing the songs or do you have the music first or the lyrics? Uh, when writing a song, yeah. I... Uh, both ways, really. I write the music first, if I have like a cool riff or something, I build a song around that. And um, I'm always writing lyrics anyway, so, you know, if I've got a good song and some lyrics that fit that, that the mood of that song, I'll just pick the lyrics for yeah. that, yeah. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Now we've heard some amazing music from Danny tonight and the performances don't stop here. Every week we'll be releasing exclusive videos from our artists covering the latest tracks, so make sure you keep an eye out. And remember, if you want to get in, contact. Check out the links below. That's all from us this week. You've been watching The Q.